Hey there guys, I've got another iPod tutorial for you here today. You see my blank screen right now? If I right click in this window, you get my clock. Oh look, dude, that looks awesome. I'm going to put the iPod down, we're going to watch through the window. Okay, so here's my iPod. And as you can see, it's jailbroken and looks awesome. This says I'm going to eat you. I'm going to teach you how to change that today. Also, if we go to power off my iPod, I'll show you what it says. see. It says shut this thing down and when it's syncing it will say uh, stop the sync. I'll show you how to change all of that. First jailbreak your iPod. Good. Now open up Cydia. Cydia. After it's done loading its data, etc. Now hide my desktop. There we go. Looks cleaner. <clears throat> After you're in Cydia, go over to search. You're going to type in W-I-N-T-E-R, no space, B-O-A-R-D, winter board. Click it. You're going to click up here. It's going to say install. After you click install, go and click cancel. It's going to come up with a pop-up that says continue or, or clear queue or add to queue. Add it to the queue. It's the top one. Then it'll bring you back to your search. Clear the search and type in slide to un. Slide to unlock killer. Click it, click install, and then click confirm. It will then install Winterboard and slide to unlock killer. After you've done that, it might have you respring, it might have you reboot. I can't necessarily remember. But, anyways, after it's done, get to the home screen, do its thing. Then go over to Winterboard. Winterboard, right here. Winterboard. Open it up. Go to Select Themes. And click the newest one being Intrigue or Killer. Okay? Then it's going to have you respring automatically. Uh, if you hit Home, it will respring. Um, and the next step is now computer related. So go ahead and keep your iPod on and so you can still see it. Go and open up Cyberduck. If you watched my jailbreaking tutorial, you will understand how to use Cyberduck. Go to Cyberduck. Go open connection. Find the IP address of your iPod. Um, you can do that in settings, or if you have SB settings, just drag your finger across the top here. Hi, hidden menu comes down. Tells you your Wi-Fi IP address. 192.168.0.7. Good. Thank you. All right. So we're going to type that in here. 192.168.0.7. The username is root, and the password is A-L-P-I-N-E, as in Alpine Forest. Connect. It's going to connect to your iPod. Alright, so it's going to take you to a weird folder. Just simply click in the bar up here and go to the slash directory. Then you're going to go into a library and find the one called themes. Go into themes. Then you're going to go into entrykiller.theme. Open it. Go through all the folders, which are the only folders, so folder, springboard.app, then you'll see a bunch of weird ones. Find your language. If you're listening to me, it's most likely en.laprange, English. Open it. Download springboard.strings. To do so, right-click it, and hit download. We're going to download it to my computer. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel. Okay? It's going to download to your downloads. We'll open it up in downloads. We see it right here, springboard.strings, right there, okay? Right click, open with, text edit. This is not what you'll see. You'll see this, but everything will have four spaces of blank in between each one. Away underscore lock underscore label is the slide to unlock. You'll see four blank spaces in the between the string attributes. Delete those spaces and type whatever you want. Whatever you want, okay? Now we're going to save that, command S, good. Now we're going to simply drag it back into the iPod. It's going to say, do you want to rename? No, we're going to overwrite it. Continue. It's going to overwrite it here. Remove. Perfect. We're done. Okay, now back in the iPod, right here. We're going to go ahead and respring. Since we have SB settings, we'll drag our finger across the top bar and hit respring. We're going to lose connection here immediately, almost immediately. Yep, there, we lost connection. 
and the iPad will come back here. I'll connect after it's back so you can see. I won't do I actually aren't gonna I'm not going to touch the iPod. It went to the main screen, so I haven't even seen its completion yet. So I'll add in a VNC viewer. I'm do connect. I have to touch it, except okay. This is where it brought us. I'm gonna lock. Now we'll unlock and we see whatever you want. So you do have a limit, obviously, as to how many characters you can type. If I put the character U instead of Y-O-U, it would have fit. But still, that's the point. You can definitely change that. So just change any of those strings and any of those variables, and you can mess around and type whatever you want. That is the free way to do this. Thanks for watching.